But if, if they would have tried her that way, you know, she would have been guilty, you know, got in the chair. Or at least how many, how many years in prison. If she probably would have gotten life in prison. Probably, she probably got in life, you know, but she would have died anyway. Or get shot on the way to the courthouse. <laughs> hey! With the bow and arrow? What was that? <laughs> I know, I was like, hey! She got and you're like, hey. no, right. Robin Hood like, 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 comes like, out of nowhere, like, grabs yeah, the bow and arrow, like, and go, hey, boing! And she gets shot, Aww. and she gets like, shot through the heart. <gasps> and you get a little bit, Casey, you get a little bit bad name. <laughs> Shot through the heart, and you're to blame. Casey Anthony gives love a bad name. No. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> that made no. No, that didn't work. no, it doesn't work. Anyway, but all right. So that's pretty much you know what we what you need to know for the Casey Anthony trial. Um. Yeah. All right. We essentially are... the court the America's court America's court system is screwed up. We failed a little three two and a half whatever your old child who couldn't even defend herself against her psychotic mother. Mm hmm It sucks. What is wrong with us today? I don't know. Maybe it happened when Obama got in office. Oh, snap! Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, what? I will cut you. Oh, brother. <laughs> yes, I am a brother. <laughs> <laughs> are you, a, you are a brother from another mother. All right, we get it. All right, well, we're late for the break. Uh, that we'll be... is our open mic segment. That was the open mic segment, believe it or not. <laughs> All right, well, we'll be back. You're listening we to... we haven't heard enough about this case. Already. I know. Well, we'll be back. You're listening to Mike and the crew in the morning. I remember going to this concert with my dad when I was 12 years old. She came down Cincinnati. There had to be about a million fans, and I'm pretty sure they were all hammer drunk. One thing I remember is, was they were all wearing parrot hats and shark hats on their heads. You got to the left, to the right. If it's one thing I can tell you, Jimmy Buffett puts on one hell of a concert. I don't know where I'm gonna go in a volcano. What do the crew in the morning? Only at youtube.com forward slash triple R segment seven. Hey guys, Mike here from Mike and the Crew in the Morning. And you know, if you're looking for a good time and a time just to kick back and relax, one thing should come to mind. Cornhole. It's such an awesome game, and it's a blast. I go out pretty much every time and just to hang out. It's ran by Danny Down Legside Cornhole. Danny's an awesome guy, and he's a great friend of mine. He hosts the tournaments, and they're every night at different places. You know, if you live closer to one, or you live closer to another place. If you want more information on tournaments and how you can get your hands on some awesome Legside Cornhole gifts, just go to www.lakesidecornhole.com. And uh, if you want, you can also go ahead and, and add Danny on Facebook as well. That's uh, Danny Dow with Lakeside Cornhole. Remember, that's www.lakesidecornhole.com. Check it out. I've been 2,000 miles down the wrong road. is never meant to go I was in such a hurry going nowhere fast made a lot of wrong turns couldn't find my way back you can't outrun the choices you made I'm lucky I learned from my mistakes when you dance with the devil you Get what you get, it's true I've done a lot of things that I regret When you throw away all you love There's nothing left to fear By the grace of God, I'm still Welcome back to Mike and the Crew in the Morning. Stop it! Stop only me, dang it. Stop it. Okay, well, that was a long... Why is he, like, dead in his chair? I don't know. Dude, Oh, my God. <laughs> Screw you. That was awesome. Anyway, um... Yeah, um, welcome back to Mike and the Crew in the Morning. Oh, no, And, um... Okay, so... That was a really long, interesting um, <laughs> of a mic segment. That was the longest mic segment we've ever had. I know. Never. 
Never again. Okay, yeah, never again will we do a 45 minute open mic segment, but you know, you know, you know, everyone, you know, it's Casey Anthony, so we kind of had to talk about it, so. Uh, my chest pain's hurting. My chest pain's hurting, whatever, man. Except out of shower, I'll let down. <laughs> okay, well, um, <laughs> alright, so coming up next is the Would You Rather segment, or do you want to skip that and go right to your segment? Cut out the Would You Rather. Yeah, we don't have to do that every single time. Alright, so. Okay. Skip say Would You Rather. What? I said skip say Would You Rather. Alright, and Would You Rather is gone. <laughs> okay. We can put it in the next time. Yeah, we'll throw it in next time. Alright, so. come. Oh, <laughs> snap! Oh, snap! That was nasty! <laughs> Stop tickling me. Nasty. <laughs> okay. Get your hand out of my midsection. <laughs> Stop tickling my man boobs. Dude, do you really want to admit that on the internet? <laughs> Would you not so Oralisha? No, do not take Oralisha and put it with your man titties. <laughs> the hose on the ground, throw it all down. <laughs> yeah. Are you calling me a hoe? No. <laughs> Would you not so Oralisha? Ooh. Are you calling me a hoe? I no. am gonna stay up at this mess right here. Okay, anyway. Coming, coming I'm calling you a pyro. No, okay. Coming up in a few seconds is uh, story time with Hollywood. You're listening to Mike and the crew in the morning. You ever feel like emptying your bowels? No! We'll take a listen to this. out of the top stories that are going on in Hollywood today? Uh, did you just say top stories? Alright, alright, as well, more like a story hour. Anyway, this is story time with Hollywood! And welcome back to my kid. the fact that he's dancing to his own intro music right there. Sure. No, that's your intro music. Anyway. I know, but he's like dancing to the intro music that he's like. Do, 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 uh, anyway, do, 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 welcome do, do, do. to the uh, story. The topless stories. It's top stories, not topless stories. Get your mind out of the gutter. Anyway, welcome <laughs> to the story time with Hollywood, and this is brought to you by VictoryRags.com. Uh, clothes created by Richie Richie. They're all face based clothes, meaning they have crosses or bubble verses on them. They're really cool. I actually have a few. Um, if you want to check them out, go to www.victoryrags with a Z dot com. That's victoryrags dot com. So check it out. Hollywood, take it away. All right. Well, everybody knows that we usually read those politically corrected fairy tales. Yes, and they suck. Yeah, they <laughs> suck really bad. Whoever came up with those really needs to be taken out and shot. I'm sorry, you don't ruin good stories. Like <laughs> <that>. <laughs> oh, <snap. laughs> that was pretty violent. Wait, what? <laughs> I mean, the person's bored and sitting at their. Death. I mean, I mean, I guess, probably, I know. guess it's fair to say that, that they suck, but to go out and shoot them. <laughs> I, I, I would like to write my this story and take a twist on it. What if it was politically correct? Busted. <laughs> and then hey. you're like, no, <laughs> it was terrible. Shoot them in the mouth. And now they're like, oh, I'm there for my life. I can sleep with I. Well, no, it's just a saying. It means that that was so horrible. <laughs> oh, I don't know what it means, but I like to make you look like an evil person. Oh. No! <laughs> yes! No! No! Hey, hey, uh, B GBK. C. D. <laughs> oh, you don't want to know right now. Okay, anyways. Release! Good. <laughs> that was lit. Anyway, so everybody knows about the politically corrected fairy tales. They all suck, and we don't know who came up with them. Therefore, we cannot go out and shoot them. Wait, what do you say? You said that they all suck? Yes. Hell yeah! <laughs> so anyway, here is Sarah's version of a poli Hollywood's version of a politically corrected fairy tale. It is called Jack and Jill Go to Court. I have to do a little bit of an intro for this because I have to thank um, my last semester voice teacher, Jenny, for giving me the idea for this. And it was simply because one day in class she handed us a sheet of um, nursery rhymes and said, you have to present it like you're a lawyer in court. So it was a voice, it's a voice thing. So anyway, <laughs> I'm getting the weird <laughs> stare from GVK over here. He's, he uh, weird stares at everybody. So she said we had to present it as though we were a lawyer, but we had to be like one of those dramatic lawyers like from SVU or CSI or whatever. Uh, CSI or SVU? 
Yeah, a Law and Order SV, Special Victims Unit. Gotcha. Okay. SUV, what? <laughs> it's, yeah, CSI, SUV. <laughs> Everyone, get in the man! <laughs> no, that's where the child predator is. <laughs> and anyway, so anyway, anyway back to the she story. handed me the nursery rhyme Jack and Jill. Now everyone knows the nursery rhyme, you know. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Wait, can I say it? No. Can I say my version, please? No. Dang it! My my version's funny. This is about Hollywood. Sorry, go ahead. Shut Sorry, up. Go, go Ain't ahead. you? So Jack Ain't and Jill you, went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Everyone knows that that is the nursery rhyme. Well, at least most half of it there's another half but i'm not going to go into that because i don't remember it there's another half to it yes, yes there is another half to jack and Jones. really yeah i don't remember the other half <laughs> oh, there, i know the perverted version but go ahead you dirty little nasty you're about to get booted i'm oh, sorry go ahead booty what booty. Oh, oh snap i was like how does that ow, work ow, ow, laughing cramp <laughs> Like, you be bad, and you get what? <laughs> hey, Hold on he, now. He said Laving it. Laughing crap. He said it. So anyway, well, we, the way we had to present it was as, as if we were a dramatic lawyer. So this is the version awesome. I came up with. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Who really knows why, but, you know, it could have been just for, you know, just to really get a pail of water, or it could have been for Jill's plan to, you know, push Jack down the hill. The hose on the ground, throw it all down. Jack's a hoe now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jack's a hoe, anyway. So, Jack fell down, broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. And this was where I kind of had to finish it simply as a full lawyer, because it was really short. So, I said, at one point I started saying, you know, if, like, if they really were going up the hill to fetch a pail of water, why, you know, did Jill follow behind Jack? Could she not have gone in front of Jack? So, you know, just because Jack goes up the hill first doesn't mean, you know, Jill doesn't, you know, have some plan or something. So, you know, Jack fell down, broke his crown. How did Jack fall down? You know, he's probably climbed that hill a hundred times. How, you know, why, why would someone who's climbed a hill a hundred times to fetch a pail of water, and he's probably used to carrying that pail of water, why would he fall down? You know, and then there's Jill came tumbling after. So, you know, if Jill comes tumbling after, no one really knows why. It just ra randomly says, Jill comes tumbling after. You know, probably to create an alibi for herself so that she, so that it's not obvious that she, Jill, was the one who pushed Jack down the hill. She's another Casey Anthony. Da, 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 dummy! <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Get out of my segment, child. <laughs> Sorry. Well, anyway, that was my version <laughs> of Jack and Jill goes to court. I like there it. are other versions. There's the Humpty Dumpty version. Humpty Dumpty. Yeah. Humpty Dumpty what? Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> So, did he really fall off the wall, or did... He was shot That, the actually, I am working on writing that. I'm writing a version of um, Humpty Dumpty Goes to Court, and it blames, it says, you know, if Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, you know, how long has he been sitting up there? He's probably been sitting up there for a couple of years. He wouldn't just randomly fall off. Or maybe, if he wants you to think he's been up there for a couple of years, he's only been up there for 22 seconds. Ah! Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> so then it, it drags in, like, all the king's horses and all the king's men. It's like, you know... All the king's horses and all the king's men, you know, why were they even called into this? Why, was, why wasn't why was Humpty Dumpty taken to the hospital? Because the king runs a harem. King, king, king what? That made no sense. The king's horses and his men? All the king's horses and all the king's men. Could yeah. Have put together he again. runs a harem. Okay. What does Humpty Dumpty have to do with the harem? Okay. Anyway, but that's <laughs> Humpty Dumpty. Anyway, that's Humpty Dumpty goes to court. I might bring that up on another episode. When I finish actually writing it. All right. Well, uh, Jack and Joe was a little bit of improvisation. I don't remember everything I said. So anyway, yes, that was. Uh, I liked it. That was cool. You look, what's with the smile? I'm. I'm acknowledging He's her. Happy to see me. All right. Well, we have. Um, what is that? A hair on my laptop. That is disgusting. Don't say her last name, or people will creep me. Okay. <laughs> anyway, okay. Um, sure. uh, we have a fan who just wanted to come into the studio and say, "Hey, her name is Meg. Uh, let me give you the awesome computer clap because we we can do that." Uh, everyone, say, "Hey to Meg." Hey, hey Meg. Meg, what's up? 
I love hey, you. Hey, boys and girls. <laughs> I love assuming, how she kind of does the little ice capades walk and she's like, hey. Assuming, say? assuming all of our listeners are little five girls. Hi, boys and girls. Well, <laughs> give a shout, out, give a shout out to JoJo hi. and Mimi. Hi. Hey, you know, fun. hi, men and women of the Universe. internet podcast. <laughs> 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 All right, thanks for the hey, and we'll and see you later. that was Meg with her hey, awesomeness. Her okay. shout-out to Mimi. JoJo and, and, jo and, and, and Ray Ray. Ray Ray. Wait, do you, know, do you know Shaniki Tiki? Um, no, I was making fun of her. Oh, okay. Remember? Wait, wait. What if she, what if that was Shaniki Tiki, but she didn't? <gasps> that could be Shaniki Tiki. She's too white to be Shaniki Tiki. Yeah. No, I've seen her. Actually, I'm kind of. What? Suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Meg could actually act black enough to be Shaniki Tiki. Uh oh. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Any buts. All right. Well. Oh wait, wait. We are so off. Let me go ahead and play your outro music for your yeah. segment. And that was the store time brought to you by Hollywood. We hope you all enjoyed it. Topless stories. <laughs> no <laughs> top stories. Top stories. Aw, uh, if, if you want to, if you want to. <laughs> If, if you want to read about a topless story, go buy a Playboy magazine. No shanks. Or go to Fairville and Megastore and rent one of their nice videos.